everybody, I hope you are all really well, I hope you're all having a fantastic day. It is unboxing day, very exciting as always, I am filming this a week in advance, the boxes haven't actually left me yet, they haven't left the house yet, they're going out on Monday, it's Saturday today, so I don't know yet what the reaction is, but I'm really excited about these boxes, I think they are super special. So. The theme for these boxes is Sewing Bee. Um, in the UK we had a, an event last month, the Great British Sewing Bee Live in London and it was super popular, really awesome. So I thought I would do a sewing themed box, a box, I know every box is for sewing but this one is particularly dedicated to our favourite hobby. So I hope you all really like it. Also very exciting, these are the first boxes that are going to America as well, which is, oh my goodness, I've had a great reaction. Um, lots of people signed up from America, so thank you so much. It's very exciting. So we will, I will crack on, and I will start with the classic boxes. Um, as usual, so the classic and the minis have the same fabric. Mini has one meter, classic has two and a half meters. Um, and the mini's sort of got, it's just a smaller version. So, without further ado, every box has two metres of this gorgeous ribbon. Don't know if you can see it from there, but it says so happy. And it's got thimbles and buttons and sewing needles and it's really cute. So, I think I might do a blog about uses of ribbon in sewing. Um, but you can use it if you're sewing something with jersey to... Um, stabilize the shoulders. You can use it if you're making a pair of pajamas for the drawstring. You can use it to, um, to sort of prettify the inside of your garments, so the hem and things like that. Um, loads of different uses, so I might do a blog post about that. So two meters of ribbon in every box. We have a nine inch concealed zip as well, um, in all the boxes matching the main fabric and a reel of Gutterman thread to match the main fabric. I tried to think of a, a sweet treat that sort of matched the theme. Um, there wasn't, I, so I always try and vaguely match the, the sweet treat to the theme. Um, and this is maybe a little bit um, of a tenuous link, but I, I like them. So, every box has a packet of Jazzles and it says milk chocolate flavour candy buttons with a candy topping. <laughs> so they're, they're buttons, sewing related. Yeah, I told you it was tenuous. Anyway, um, the classic and the luxury boxes also got a metal sewing gauge from Merchant and Mills. Um, I got one of these for myself as well. I've not actually used a sewing gauge before, so I'm quite excited to try it out. Um, you use it to uh, measure your seams or your hems or you can use it to measure your distance between your buttonholes or the size of your buttonholes. I think there are quite a lot of uses for these so I'm excited to try that out as well. Plus I love Merchant and Mills and their packaging, it always looks really really nice. So the fat quarters this month are quite special as well. They are, were designed by Stuart Hillard who was a contestant on one series of The Great British Sewing Bee. He's also written a few sewing books, does, has some columns, a column in a magazine, I think, I know of at least one, there's probably more than that. So yes, he's quite um, well known amongst the sewing community. And the fat quarters that he designed are sewing bumblebee. That's what they're called, and they're just gorgeous. So there are two different um, variations. One is sewing bumblebee buttons, and one is sewing bumblebee badges. This one is the badges. So it's got the sort of principal fat quarter. Has all these badges with different sewing things on, like needle and thread, sewing machines, scissors, buttons, that kind of thing. Um, it's looking quite washed out on the screen there, 
but it's got gorgeous colours of grey, yellow and blue. And then to match there's also this one which has a sort of a running stitch pattern on it. This one which has little bumblebees, I don't think you can see it on the screen unfortunately. There will be pictures um, up on my blog so I'll link below to the blog so that you can see pictures a bit better. Um, it's quite a dark day today, it's very rainy, very grey and overcast so I've got a big light on and it's probably making everything look a bit washed out. But So I will link to um, the blog. And then this one is a grey one with slightly bigger sewing, slightly bigger bumblebees and it says Queen Bee on it as well. So I think they are so gorgeous, I absolutely love those. And the main fabric that went into the classic and the minis is this absolutely gorgeous viscose. So it's got a black background with white and purple and pink flowers and it's lovely, it's got a lovely drape to it as well. I do, I have kept a length of this back for myself um, and I'm definitely thinking the new sew over it, one of the new sew over it maternity patterns um, in this because it's got such a gorgeous drape. I think it will also look lovely as, uh, you know the sort of pyjama tops that people are making and wearing as like everyday tops. Um, I really like that style. Always good to be cosy and comfy, obviously. So that is the main fabric and it is gorgeous. It's so pretty. Yes, I really, I'm really happy with that one. So that is the classic and the mini box. Okay, I've swapped it over so that you can see the luxury box now. Is equally as gorgeous. So again, we have the metal sewing gauge from Merchant and Mills, the pretty ribbon, a packet of jazzles. I always called them jazzies. I thought they were jazzies, but these ones are called jazzles. Again, a nine-inch concealed zip and Gutman threads to match the main fabric. And I'll show you these fat quarters again. This one, so the classic box has five fat quarters in and this one's got this gorgeous yellow honeycomb print to it as well which is really pretty. Do you know what I want to make out of these yet? So I've just tried to re... Um, to change the brightness setting on the camera so that hopefully this isn't so blown out. Um, so the independent pattern this month comes from new indie pattern designer Nina Lee Nina Lee London. I will try and show you a close up. And they are the Portobello trousers, which are a gorgeous high waisted wide leg style trouser. Um, I love the packaging. The packaging is gorgeous. And on the back, she's got a sort of um, a building scene. So all Nina's patterns are named after famous places in London. So you've got Portobello. I've seen Carnaby and there's a couple of others as well. So she's got four patterns out now, PDFs and paper patterns. So do check out her website to see um, the other patterns because they're lovely. So I thought this would look really nice in the main fabric, which I will show you now. Um, but this, these, pa these trousers will look great in all sorts of fabrics. So she suggests light to medium weight wovens, ideally with some drapes such as crepe, linen, chambray, rayon um, and then you can also use like a lightweight wool I think they'd look great in sort of um, what am I thinking those sort of that sort of wool fabric that you might make smart trousers out of for work I think they'd look great in that as well with a white shirt or something so that is the main pattern and the fabric oh my goodness it is so pretty it's a Lady McElroy fabric and when I opened it, when it arrived and started cutting it, it was, oh my goodness, so gorgeous. So it's a cotton lawn and it is called Evening Roost in Teal. So the colour is absolutely beautiful and it just feels lovely. It's got, it feels kind of silky almost. It's absolutely gorgeous and it's got these such sweet little birds. Um, it's beautiful. I absolutely love it. 
Luckily, I think there was about two meters left over, so I've put that in my stash. So the luxury boxes come with three and a half meters of this fabric. And it's so beautiful, and it's gonna work for, oh my goodness, so many things. Dresses, um, shirts, trousers, skirts. It's gorgeous, gorgeous fabric, lovely quality as well. So yes, I hope everybody really likes that because I was very excited by it. Now, the other thing to tell you is the boxes that went to America. So the lovely people at Simply Sewing Magazine got in touch with me and asked if I would send some issues of Simply Sewing Magazine to America. Um, and there is a code as well um, to if you want to subscribe to Simply Sewing Magazine in America for a bit of a discount, so I will link that below as well. So yes, very exciting there as well. So thank you to Simply Sewing. So those are the boxes this month for October. Can't believe it's October already. I'm very excited. Do love this time of year. The website is open for new subscribers who will get their first box in November. So don't miss that one. It's gonna be. A, I mean, they're all good, but that's gonna be a good one as well. So thank you everybody for watching. I hope you all have a fantastic day, a lovely week, and I will see you all in a couple of weeks' time. Take care.